Hi dear all Espresso TV freaks, now I do a very short English version because some people uh, always request that I do something in English, even my accent is not so good, but what the fuck, okay. So here we have the very nice Spezzera Aria. It's a very small machine, just uh, 25 centimeters uh, wide and uh, it has some speciality. It's a very small rotary pump. This version is uh, without PAD with a, a stainless steel uh, body, complete body. Here also the frame is complete stainless steel, which is quite nice. And uh, in general I just unpacked everything. So here we have the original packaging, okay? It's quite good, very stable and uh, yeah, everything you need is inside, even a quite good temper is inside, okay? The temping station is uh, accessory, so it's uh, not in the standard scope of delivery. What else can I say here? Yeah, here also the knockout drawer is very nice. It's uh, new. It's uh, yeah uh, more massive, so it's not that uh, noisy for the vibrations. You see, so the rubber absorbs quite well. It's uh, made in Milano, not in China. And so, what can I say? We go to action, okay? It's also uh, not so loud. It's a, a cool sound. And haha, yeah, now I do something different. I use the big cups, okay? That's for a uh, cafe latte. You see there are uh, three types of cups. The small espresso, the uh, standard cappuccino, and here is a bigger one. So for the bigger one, we of course uh, need what do we need? Yeah, uh, stuff inside, which means um, a double espresso. Okay, so a little bit of warming up is always nice. When the cup is too cold, it's not so tasty. So here we go. With the matzah grinder, I just uh, did the setting. So now we do a double dose. And I'm a little bit curious, so I'm just uh, waiting the coffee for double dose, which is now 15.3 gram. That's okay, not too much. Uh, sometimes I prefer 16, 17 gram, but for uh, uh, this cup, I think the 15.3 is fine. And uh, we will see the result here. It's okay, so you, you see you can easily use uh, two or three gram more, but then uh, the finesse is um, missing. So I try not to put too much coffee powder inside, but it's uh, depending on the personal taste. Here you have a little bit of the, uh, at the outside, but it's not, that's not that dramatic. Very important is that you have a, a clean equipment. Yeah, you see the outflow is quite nice. And so in parallel, we can steam the milk. And the boiler has enough power. So and when the sound changes, you uh, feel already it's coming close to the uh, 60 degree and then it's really enough. What is important that you um, remove the uh, gross bubbles so you can um, yeah, homogenize the milk. Um, yeah, but of course there are much, much better latte art artists than me. I, must, I define myself more as a latte art spastic, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, and here, so the uh, crema looks nice. Yeah. 
yeah, consistency is so la la. So you can insert a little bit, then shaky makey. And then you can do whichever kind of uh, latte art, so that's uh, uh, not a very good one. But uh, with a good beginning and a bad ending, but uh, what to say, <laughs> that's life. So uh, I can try and test and uh, yeah, uh, in this way, okay, so uh, towards the camera, the logo. Mm. Yeah, the milk could be a little bit more hot, so I could have steamed maybe three, four seconds longer. And after, always uh, remove the uh, milk which is uh, inside the steam wand. Hmm, quality is cool. And uh, don't forget to remove the uh, coffee, okay, the coffee powder because this one should stay clean, okay, and not dirty. This is why a brush helps you in removing the uh, remaining coffee. And so... Yeah, what can I say for world peace and good coffee, okay? So uh, stay healthy and happy, okay? Because there is no way to happiness, happiness is the way. <laughs> Ciao!